Tim, guess what? It's vlog 24. 24 weeks of this. Unbelievable, Jeff. I think we're coming to the end, uh, but more of that later. Uh, first up, are you excited? It's what's my weight and what's my COVID status. Well, it is Sunday, isn't it? 12 stone, 8.2, and positive because it's negatory. And that is the COVID test. And the reason I do COVID tests, I go and see my mum every week. And I want to make sure, because she's very old, nearly 90 now, um, that I don't give her COVID. So that's why I do the test, just in case you're wondering. So COVID is good because, well, it's not bad because it's not positive. So it's negative, which is positive, if you think about it. Huh? Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, as for the weight, I think the weight is going to not change so much now. Um, I think, well, I don't know what, what else I can do really, other than that rude word, exercise. But when I start working again, maybe um, it'll start going down again, because I'll probably be eating more regular and better -er than what I've been eating recently, which hasn't been more better. -er. But I have changed my diet a little bit, but I am now cooking more, which means I'm eating more carbs. So yeah, I think the weight is just gonna have to stay where it is. Um, cutting down on the beers as well. I can't remember the last time I got drunk, but um, it's fair to say that I probably drink a little bit more than I should do, even though it's only one or two cans a night. Um, when I get back to work though, hopefully, everything will uh, get back to normal. I'll be using more energy, but I'll be, uh, get my sleeping patterns right and my mental health won't be as weird as it is at the minute but what can you do um silence now regular viewers will know that uh two weeks ago now um she brought a friend in who i nicknamed ratim rat face uh, mainly because well it was a rat it could have been a large mouse i don't know either way it disappeared into the kitchen i've hunted high and low can't find it i've not heard any squeaks recently but i always feel that whenever i'm out that uh, they're doing a Tom and Jerry impression and then tidy up very quickly when they hear me coming home and then just pretend nothing happens, which would be hilarious if it wasn't quite as scary. But before she did that, there was a video I was gonna do uh, which showed her pretending or thinking she was a dog. Watch this. I think my cat thinks she's a dog. Horses just shove something through the light box and she has legged it and is inspecting it. Yeah, she thinks she's one of them. Uh, thankfully, she doesn't rip things apart. Although, to be fair, most of them are built, so it'd probably be a good idea if she did rip them apart. Uh, but she definitely investigates. However, however, since uh, Ratty arrived, I made the uh, decision not to allow her upstairs in case Ratty isn't dead or hasn't escaped and she picks it up and takes it upstairs because, well, that would be even worse than having it downstairs in the kitchen. So, uh, yeah. my life, I tell you, so complicated. What's going on with the shop though? Well, well, this week, I'd say not a lot. I had another meeting uh, with a guy on Monday, uh, but the main guy I need to speak to to sort it out has been off this week on his holidays. I mean, that's very, very rude of him to do that when obviously I'm, uh, in desperate need of getting into the shop. We've literally got a few weeks now until Christmas uh, and I need to, you know, do, well, get shop fitting done and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's frustrating, but I feel like we're getting there. Video wise, uh, I've done another bus journey. I'm calling it on the buses, but for copyright reasons, I'm calling it on Greater Manchester buses. See, clever, eh? So I'm kind of hoping that that is going to um, alleviate any issues that I might have from a TV channel. Uh, but they're proving quite popular. And I must admit, I enjoy doing them. Although when the bus gets full and there aren't any windows open, it does get a bit stuffy and that's a bit worrying, especially with the rising COVID cases that seem to be uh, being mentioned either and everywhere. So, yeah, I'm going to see how it goes. I'm not expecting too much, but those videos are popular so we'll be doing more of them but just have to pick days when or buses where the windows open 
Yeah. The only other one I'm doing is the canal. And I thought I'd walk from Liverpool to McGull along the canal. Thinking it'd be about eight miles, something like that. It wasn't. I forget that canals do not necessarily go uh, the quickest route. In fact, they don't go the quickest route at all. So I uh, majorly messed up there. But thankfully, I parked the car in McGull, got a bus for two quid into Liverpool, and then walked back. So I didn't have to, when I'd done the 16 miles or 15 miles, whatever the hell it was, I didn't have to uh, turn around and walk that distance back again. So uh, we've now walked, or rather I've now walked, from Liverpool city centre to the other side of Blackburn on what I like to call the very relaxing playlist because there's only me chatting at the beginning and only me chatting at the end. Anyway, that is it for this video. Uh, I will see you all again next time. It's very quiet right now. Um, look after yourselves. Don't know anything daft. Until next time. Bye.